Well, these guys don't become a bad team overnight, and there's guys, uh, I mean, you've the, the Paul O'Connells, I mean, the, the, the O'Garas, the Brian O'Driscolls, these guys are going to come bouncing back, and you know, I think everybody jumped on the bandwagon, but you have to look at some of the positives of the last day. I think there was, the, the opening 20 minutes was excellent, the guys were, the body language was fantastic, they really put it up to the French, but uh, one or two disappointing things, I think the defensive, uh, defensive in midfield let Ireland down the last day, but these guys will know that that was an area that left them down. Also, I think they went chasing the game a bit too early, so these guys learn from every game. The coaching staff, the whole lot of them, Declan Kidney, they'll bring it in and say, right guys, what do we do wrong? It was defence, it was, and we chased it and panicked a small bit too early, so let's eradicate them for the next day. So, it is a really tough game going into England, very, very tough game. The English guys are, obviously, they're, they're, it's a momentum competition to Six Nations. These guys are on a roll, um, they have two out of two. I'd be saying kind of a couple of weeks ago that Ireland would be very comfortable going into this game. It's going to be really, really tough now and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really been put up to them. This is the first loss we've suffered in a while and um, I suppose it's just about circling the wagons now, you know, it's been a lot of, we've got panned a bit in the media, but I think it's, there's, you know, it's not as, not as bad as people make out, you know, and I'm confident that we can turn it around now this weekend in Twickenham. Keep my head down, I support the lads and keep training away and hopefully things will work out for the best. The English are a very strong side and they've, they've massive support at home, you know, but I think that traditionally the the English support is it's it's wavered a little bit when England haven't really, you know, uh, gotten on top early. I think they, they got they got an awful lot of criticism after their uh, Italian match. So I think if Ireland can get a good start and, and just and keep playing their own game plan and, and and build pressure on top of the English, I think we can we can turn it around. Playing in, uh, in England is a, is a daunting task. You know, it's a magnificent stadium and. You know, the English crowd get right behind them. Now, whether that, that'll be a factor this weekend with uh, the amount of unease that's around the side at the moment, maybe that's a, that's a way that uh, the Irish team can capitalise, get into the game, get into the game early and, you know, put them under pressure and see what way the crowd react over there. They've struggled a bit in Italy, but every, every team has their moments against Italy where you... Uh, panic and go back into your shell because of the physicality of the game and uh, the way the Italians can smother you when you play them over there. Uh, they could have lost that game but they had the mental resolve and probably the experience uh, with a lot of uh, very good experienced campaigners in their side to get them through that narrowly. We didn't see Tommy Bow attack the ball against France. We didn't see the likes of uh, of Rob Carney, who's no injured. But we, I want to see Jordan Murphy attack the English away. I want to see uh, I want to see Keith Earls get the ball. I want to see Darcy. That's that's the areas that we need to get the ball out to, so that we can get benefit from that. We had a lot of defensive errors in the French game. I suppose you know our work rate wasn't where it should have been with the pack. You know the positives take from it as our set piece worked worked very well, and we'll be looking to bring that into the weekend. And and you know hopefully the lads can turn it on. There's good competition at out half between Ronan and Johnny um, for the future. I think Decky has said that he's gone with Johnny to give him the big game experience. And, um, you know, they're the things that happen in the game. Donnick O'Callaghan has been chomping at the bit. He, I think he even wanted to play the Italian game he, even when he wasn't right. You know, so he's been chomping at the bit. I know from uh, Lanzarote when he was away with the Munster lads there, he was training morning, noon and night. So he's, he's well capable of getting ready for this game.